Hello, people. Bubba Ace here. I know it's the end of the world that I didn't do my signature away because I'm currently in the middle of packing. I got my suitcase and stuff. Packed my stuff in my car because we just checked out of our room. And uh, what's going to happen now is we're going to uh, get our stuff in our vehicles, be back in the park. As we're we're not leaving the park just yet. We're just checking out room and packing up our stuff, and then we're gonna get back in park to do a few more things. And the best part of the day is I have my GoPro fully charged, so I'll be able to get some few uh, V shots of uh, doing some of the water slides. And then uh, once that's done, we'll be able to uh, do other stuff while still in the park before we uh, leave later this um, evening. So that being said, I'll uh, get my stuff packed up and then head back inside and uh, show you all more of the. Uh, Goodness. Hope you enjoyed those POV shots of me getting on those water slides. They were a lot of fun, but uh, yeah, the rest of the family and I have been here for about a few hours. You know, having fun with the slides and the pool and the weigh machine and Lazy River and stuff. And so now I'm out of my uh, wet attire and onto my dry attire because there's few, there's still a few more things that I want to uh, check out before I, uh, before I leave here. Uh, the family's not going to stay for their whole trip. They're actually getting ready to leave. I, on the other hand, have a few more things I want to get shots of and uh, before I head off myself. But uh, yeah, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. So I'm, right now I'm just heading back to my car and uh, going to put away all my uh, wet stuff and the GoPro because I don't really need it anymore, at least for the rest of this trip. And then I'm going to uh, head back inside and get some more shots to show out to you guys.
over 9,000! So I ended up staying um, quite a long while after the rest of my family left. Had fun uh, playing all those games at uh, the adventure lobby and all that stuff. And I had a really good time here at the Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, as soon as I get back to my place, I'll give my final thoughts and this vlog, edit this vlog, and then put it up for you all to see. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you all back at my place. And now, my final thoughts. This was a really good weekend. It was great to hang out with the family once again. And it was just great just to be able to have a vacation with them. And overall, the resort was actually pretty good. Um, the water part was pretty fun, but I think my only complaint about it is in the lazy river. There's all those squirting machines that, while it may seem fun at first, it gets really annoying after a while. And on top of that, it's not even that long of a river. And for a lazy river, it's pretty small. And because of the fact that people get interfered by like squirting them, whatever, it gets really annoying after a while. If there are those ones that you have the option of getting squirt on, whatever, I guess it's okay. But the two that are unavoidable, that's my main con that's my main problem with it. The other issue is in the, the bedrooms and stuff are the bunk beds. They're not entirely bad per se, but if you brought family with you and you have a few kids with you, and I mean like, you know, kids, kids, like, you know, people who are not even their teens or whatever, it's okay, but when they're definitely beyond that age, it's not all that great. Oh yeah, and the biggest complaint of all, which is really that much of a complaint, is the location of the resort. I mean, first of all, yeah, it's practically not close to where you have, but the problem is that when you're selling your food there, it's, for a small resort, I mean, at the time uh, I went there, it's still pretty small, um, it's close to a bunch of fat, fast food restaurants. And on the one hand, I can understand why you have the prices for the foods and stuff there as being kind of pricey because of, you know, the fact that it's supposed to be a really big resort, but the thing is, this is not a big resort. And secondly, it's close to a bunch of fast food places. So really, anyone could just walk out anytime, get any, uh, get like a bunch of Big Macs for like, you know, twenty dollars or something, as opposed to having to spend in like twenty dollars and getting like two cheeseburgers or something. So while my biggest concern is not about the location of the resort, it's the prices of your foods. It's pretty expensive. And considering that the resort is located to a bunch of fast food places, don't be surprised that many people prefer to just go out real quick to get um, something as opposed to just stay in your resort. I mean, I guess if, you're tr if they're going for the, the kitchen stuff, it'd be a different story, but that's not entirely the case here. Overall, it was still a lot of fun. It was a great experience. And I'm glad I got to share this experience with you guys. Let me know uh, what your favorite moment was in the comments below. This was definitely not my personal favorite weekend, but it's definitely in the top 10. And despite the problems that I had with the lodge, which are actually pretty big, the Great Wolf Lodge still gets a pop up approved. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you all in my next video. Until next time, ciao peoples.